welcome to this week's Fat Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie. This is Squeaky. Squeak, squeak. I love when cats do that little chirp. But anyway, thanks for coming to hang out with us. If you don't know who this is, and brother's creeping up on the side over here, then you definitely should check out a couple of playlists we'll put up. That way you can watch some of the older videos and get caught up to where we are now. It has officially been over a year since we have been doing Vet Ranch Roundup, and I have got a lot of great feedback from you guys, and I love doing these videos. So I hope that you guys like watching them just as much as we like putting them out there. Nikki, come here. He's not sure if he's getting them up here or not. Anyway, let's jump into this week. It's gonna kind of be a lean week and let me tell you why. April has COVID. She got it probably from a wedding and then before we realized it she gave it to Wendy and so everybody has been pretty much separated and quarantining and it's a little hard for me sometimes to video stuff by myself but we're gonna do the best we can. It may be a little bit of a shorter week this week but anyway let's just get started. update. She's changed so much in a week or 10 days. This is not the same dog living in a hog trap. She walks on a leash now. She's super sweet, super snuggly. She is such a good dog. You're going to be such a great pet. What are you doing? So happy. So happy. Oh, so happy. how she kind of knuckles over but she is trying to start putting a little bit of weight on there so we'll see come on i know somebody paid there come on but she is walking which is huge she didn't walk the first two days we had her and she is advancing that foot forward so that's good I know, I was feeding her like three cups, so I need to make sure she's still eating that much. Come on. Or are you just doing like puppy? Puppy and Yeah. Mixing cannon. You're a good girl. Okay, hi. I'm going to say hi first. Say hi first. Okay, now you can go pop. I'll post a picture here. So we are treating them daily and mom. Babies. Good baby kitties. Goodness. Goodness. I love your covering. Mama cat. Are you over it? Oh, did you just slap me? No, you didn't. sometime overnight and the owner went to start the vehicle and he did not know of any cats on his property especially kittens so he brought them in we think one has an injury and the other one appears normal maybe a boy and a girl we are going to accept uh, one into that ranch of course April you know the, we know the way she is she had to take both of them we couldn't split these guys up and I think you'll see why now because they're on top of each other because they're the cutest things ever and so what we're going to do is take some x-rays of one of their paws identify their sex I think there's a male and a female April's toys here go love that that's cute and this guy this guy appears 
to be a little bit more friendly, but as we know, kittens come around. This is a little boy. Well, come here. And this little kitty has been a little bit more dramatic. It's a little girl. I believe one of these guys has a hurt paw. So we're gonna take some x-rays of it and make sure all is well. And go ahead and do a parasite screen on them and just make sure they don't have any fleas or anything like that. So let's get started. So we decided to name these guys Dee Dee and Dexter. There's one female, one male. And this is Dee Dee's x-rays, the one with the injury. And I hope you can tell this metacarpal right here is fractured and the outside metacarpal is fractured. So that is not great, but I'm actually okay with that injury. Unfortunately, we see a lot more devastating injuries with uh, these little kittens or cats that crawl up in cars. And the good news with this is since this cat is so young already making bone already you know just doing well growing i think this is going to heal just fine and so we're going to put a splint on it to help it uh, so it doesn't move so hopefully it'll be less painful get some pain meds on board anti-inflammatories and put a splint on for stabilization dd's Dee Dee's the one that's a little upset that was kind of hissing or <laughs> spitting at us and we can see why so we're going to manage that pain and i bet you dd Dee Dee will begin to warm up to us this is Chiva's parasite screen. We let it sit up. We took that kernel poop from the room, put it in our fecal sol solution, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and I combed over this slide really well. This is the only parasite egg that we could find, just one on the entire sample. This is why we do it, to identify you know, what we haven't taken care of. So we're going to deworm Chiva again and go from there. So we found one parasite egg on Chiva's parasite screen, and so we dewormed her at the time of surgery with an injectable dewormer. And I think that dewormer did its job. Certainly, I like to change up dewormers when I feel like one didn't do its job completely. And so we're going to use a different dewormer, which is an oral dewormer today, which we drench. It tastes pretty good, I don't think. And she may lose some when I do this, but that's all calculated in our dose. And so the plan from here will be to deworm her. And then just like we did today, in a few weeks, check that parasite screen to make sure, hey, she has no parasite so she can be introduced to, to other goats long term. So here we go. Eva, I'm sorry, darling. And of course she's going to hold. So what I'll do, we'll make, we'll make this a learning experience now. So she did not want to take that. So I'll back these guys up into a corner, up against a gate, a pen, and then just open their mouth with one hand and stick that to the back of the tongue. Oh. And then she did lose some, but as you can see, overall, not too bad. She's upset with me now, but we got her deworm. All right, hopefully we'll have a negative parasite screen next time. It's like they have taken over. Guys, they just infested the place. You're everywhere. Hi, and you're a real dog now. You're a real puppy now. Oh. Oh my gosh, sad day. Nola's getting your vaccine. <laughs> She's so cute. On a positive note, she loves food, so. Yes, she does. Oh, oh, oh even so crazy. Home. So crazy. 2.9. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Hurry. Where did I see it? Oh no, that was such a big piece. Good day. Her so little face is staying like a little short, tiny face. It's yeah, so cute. I know what she is. Pitbull something. 
That's what I said. A little bully son. Can we just sew it fast? That's so cute. No pocket pity. Oh, calm oh, down. It is so cute. Oh, I'm not going to take it. Look at all the jeans. Oh, guarding it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's like, I'm going to pancake out over all of this. You can't take it. Tell my dogs do to each other. Oh, my God. Crazy. I'm not taking your food. I want you to get bigger. Me? You gonna have diarrhea? Yep. Hi. Are you going Petco? You gonna get home? Go sell me bye? Okay. The best girl. The best girl. Let's go. their vaccines that means it's been an entire year since we had them and did their annual last year i feel kind of bad because it's like they're my pets and it's sad to vaccinate your own animals i'm sorry i'd be so mad <laughs> hey. oh gosh this is where i first met you actually i first met you at the shelter it's the first time that we got to hang out rude you love food he's like i don't like being past the door yeah, that's true. It's like once you get past the door in the back. I got the peekers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me check your ears. I know you hate that. Actually, they're pretty good right now. Because I'm gross like that. I like that too. You see how much I clean my office from their nastiness? Yeah, it's incredible in there. Litter. Pass to the floor. His face. So mad. So mad. <laughs> His face is so hateful. It's okay. Okay, the next hour. I'm so sorry. Don't get over it. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, give me the vaccines. Okay, settle down. Smelled this and just yeah. took it. Sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. He's just rubbing his head on you while I was doing that. I'm sorry. You're the whole You're done. I'm sorry. That was Not so mean. Quite done. What? Oh, yeah. I was like, no, no. It's very vocal. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, that's probably the okay. worst part. Yeah. We have a new case today and it was completely unexpected. What the heck? Here. Anyway, it was completely unexpected. We have an older client who visits us about once a week, brings his dog in to hang out, goes to eat lunch, and just wants to chat. But he just had another random dog with him today, and it's this little, I guess, Lhasa Apsa Maltese thing. He said he found her in the road and that she was about to get hit by a car. So, and then he said, You can keep that little girl if you want to. So, we'll look for any owners. We scanned her for a chip, nothing. But we're about to get her out and do the first evaluation of her and kind of see what's going on. On. All right, here she is. She's looking a little rough. She's got sticker burrs all in her hair everywhere. Hey, Bihi. Her eyes are really matted. I know, I just want to show them. I know. Look at them. And then look at her skin. So red. Like she's possibly has mange or she's been running around as a stray and just got bit up by ants. I don't know, but she's in bad shape. Her teeth, they look like she's an older girl. She definitely needs some extractions and some dental work. Oh, her ears are awful. Look. Awful ear infection. Stinky, stinky. She doesn't look like she's been spayed at all. You're a mess. Mats everywhere. Oh my gosh. This ear. 
so bad. I can't even believe how bad that is. Poor baby, please. So we'll just get started on her so she can start getting more comfortable. So fleas off, probably a little bit of steroids, medicated baths. We're gonna do our normal heartworm test, blood work. I know, we go from there. So cute. Definitely gonna shave your face, and I'm definitely gonna put a ponytail in your hair so we can see you. A good girl. Hmm. You're clean now. You're not gonna eat any food. No. Okay. We are here with Ricky Bobby this morning, and he just loves everybody. He's just always so happy. He's doing really, really well. I just wanted to talk about his scrotal ablation, that we had some complications there, and it is looking great. All the bruising's gone, no drainage anymore, the sutures look really good, so we're slowly increasing his activity and he's doing good. Now, what's interesting with these scrotal ablations, our goal is to decrease complications, and sometimes we see complications anyways, but that's okay, especially with uh, patients like this. Ricky is just always, always a pleasant to work with. So, we have a few more days before we're gonna remove those sutures. Uh, so far, everything's looking good. is coming to an end and the best news is that everybody's feeling better. Anybody who has broken with it um, was in quarantine and only a couple people did and they're also doing better now. So looks like we're at the end of this little mini COVID outbreak here at Vet Ranch. But thank you guys so much for joining us and watching our videos and consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you can know when we get new videos out and new content. And thank you guys if you donate to Abandoned Pet Project because without you, we would not be able to do anything so dramatic. Anyway, thank you guys so much and we will see you next week and we'll all be chipper and feeling a lot better. All right guys, bye.